Let's talk four models. To start, let's review the mental model we discussed in our previous lesson. Pictured, we have our control that we create in our component class. We have a form element in our component, in our template. And we have a directive that we use to bind the control to that element. This mechanism is called the control value accessor. Let's try to move from this high level understanding into some of the details, starting with how to create a control object. All three types of controls extend the abstract control abstract class. These three types are the form control, the form group, and the form array. To create a form control, we simply initialize a form control as you can see here. In this case, we're passing in an empty string, which signifies that the value of the form control is originally an empty string. Initializing a form group is quite similar. Our new form group declaration takes in an object of name abstract controls. In the scenario below, these are simply form controls, but as we'll see in the lessons, these could also be form arrays or other nested form groups as well. Finally, here's the syntax for creating a new form array. We simply pass in an array of abstract controls. And again, these are form controls in the pictured example, but they could be other form arrays or form groups potentially. So looking at the types of form controls, there's a clear analogy between the different types of form controls and JavaScript primitives, objects, and arrays. I think there's actually a strong correlation as well between the different types of form controls and destructured declarations. A form control, for example, is like a straightforward declaration. We can declare either a primitive, an array, or an object and assign it to a declared variable here. A form group is then like a destructured declaration of an object and its properties, where each property is explicitly named as part of the declaration. Form array is then like a destructured declaration of an array, where the declaration is an array of the, of the contents of the array, each of which could be itself a primitive, an object, or an array. Let's take a look at the abstract control API to see just how we can use these controls once they've been created. Possibly the most important part of the API is the value property. This is a read-only value that contains the value of the control. We use this quite often to synchronously get the value held by a control. Note that the type for value is any. This is a purposeful decision on the part of the forms API so that controls may contain data of any kind of shape. Closely related to values, the value changes observable stream. This is an observable of type any that changes as the forms control changes. At any time the value changes, we can expect that the observable will emit an event containing the new value. The other piece we'll specifically touch on in our lessons is the update on strategy. This strategy will dictate when the value change events are emitted. By default, this is every keystroke, but we can set it to only emit on blur uh, for the corresponding element, which can be very helpful when this is the desired behavior. Move along in the API on screen, we have all the methods that are available to an abstract control. Take note of the set value method. This is what we'll use to programmatically change the value of a control since the value property is purposely read only by design. Also note the enable and disable methods. We'll use these in the upcoming lessons to enable or disable input elements programmatically. Let's tie this all together back with our mental model and peel down from this high level into some actual code. So here we declare a new form control for our component class. And we see a form element which we wish to bind to this control. So we add the directive to the target element and they are now properly bound. This means we can call methods within our component class and our DOM will accurately reflect those changes. Let's jump into our next lesson so we can see all of this in action.